so the constructor is what constructors are initializing the object initializing the object means so this is my student class so whenever I say student s equals to new student so s is what s is an object or instance we say or if I write meaningful I can say obj student you can give any name but I'm just giving meaningful name but this is what this is an object of student class in in computer world or in C sharp programming language everything is an object so I am saying obj student is an object and when I say new student it means I am initializing the object so here what I am doing initializing the object initializing the object means I will allocate the memory to its member means for example in student class we have name age and admission number so I'm initializing memory slot for student object with its name age and admission number so when this happens when the new keyword is used at that time student object is initialized and it is the duty of the constructor of the class to initialize the object so there is a constructor in a class who initialize the object initialize the object means give the memory to its data members so if I see this class which has age name admission number and one method two methods right which one is the constructor so there is no constructor here I have defined so then how my object is initialized that is initialized with a so what is happening here here the object is initialized implicitly means you have not you you don't want to do anything CLR take cares CLR automatically initialize the object it automatically creates a constructor and when uh, not CLR uh, so that compiler sorry so compiler automatically compiles it by assuming that there there is a constructor if you don't define it consider that there is a constructor that constructor it calls as a default constructor okay so if you don't define a constructor then default constructors responsibility is to create the object of a class so in this case obj student object is initialized with a default constructor which is implicitly called okay in case you want to create an explicit constructor so if you want to create an explicit constructor then what you can do you can you can create that constructor so how to create the constructor constructor has same name 
as class name that is the one thing that is the identification of a constructor by seeing that you can say oh this is the constructor and it has no return type what it means return type is like void and means every method has a return type void integer boolean depending upon what the value it is returning or if it does not return any value then it is void so if i want to create a constructor of student class i'll say public and constructor should be public if it is private then you cannot create the object of the class so I say I'm creating a constructor so public its name should be same as the class name student <coughs> and here I'm saying age equals to say 25 name equals to Finney and admission number equals to 201 so as soon as I create this object what the first thing will happen it initialize the object it call this constructor okay and if you see down I have a method called student details which is printing name age and admission number of that particular object so see I have created this and if I say obj student dot student details then in this case it will print name Finney and age 25 admission number so what did it call it called this this values which is my constructor so the reason is that as soon as I have created the object constructor is called and it when I say student details so constructor is called it initialize these values and when I say student details it prints the name age and admission number So, if a constructor is without parameter, is called default constructor. Now, we can create we can create a constructor so let me comment this I will uncomment a little later to show the constructor overloading so but now let's create a parameterized constructor a constructor which is having A constructor which is having the parameter so I can pass the parameter into it so say an example if I say int <coughs> admission number because I have same name so I'm just putting different admission number comma int age comma 
string name so what I'm doing here age equals to age name equals to name and admission number equals to admission number one okay now constructor with parameter is called parameterized constructor okay so when a constructor is having the parameter like this now if I go back to my program it, it is throwing an error what it is saying it could not find constructor which is having a zero argument see when I was not having the constructor at that time it is it was calling the implicit constructor but when I have a constructor then it does not call the explicit uh, implicit constructor it calls the explicit constructor at that time so in this case my constructor is having three parameters and so it means when I declare my object then I should pass that three parameters so if I see here student see it is asking for the admission number so I'm saying say 101 H so I'm saying 27 and H I'm saying name I'm saying mark okay so now now this is fine so student object student new student and I am passing the object of the I'm I'm passing the parameters to the object and the why I'm passing because otherwise I will get the error so why I'm passing because my constructor is having these parameters so if I run my application now so you can see name mark is 27 and admission number is 101 so this happened because of the parameterized construct so so far we discussed the parameterized constructor and a default constructor is the constructor which does not have the parameter in dot net it is possible to have multiple constructor of a class means what I am saying so let's let's take an example this I'm uncommenting it now I have two constructor so you can see both are student public there is no return type no void or like if you see compare with this public void student input is student input is a separate name but here public no return type and same name as the class name my class is student only so now I have two parameters uh, sorry two constructors one is with parameter one is without parameter that we that is possible so you can you can have multiple constructor so when a class is having multiple constructor so when a class is having multiple constructors then it is called constructor overloading 
so that concept is called constructor overloading a class is having multiple constructors now here I am creating the object with the parameter now I have two options I can remove this as well now it will not throw the error why it is not throwing an error here because at this moment when I say student object student new student without any parameter it will call this constructor instead of parameterized constructor and if I if I execute this it will give me the default values any age 25 admission number 201 so if if you see here this is the default constructor value so as soon as the object is initialized the constructor is called and the constructor is having the uh, constructor is having the default value or the default constructor is called for example if I want to create another object I say student and obj student 1 and now I want to create a new student now it is up to me whether I want to call the uh, see it is saying one of two means there are two definitions the first one is without parameter so if I go to the two it is having three parameters so which one you want to call so I'm saying okay I am here I'm calling the other one which has the parameter so I'm saying 30 and name is mark okay and I will call this method second time so it will print two times let me run it okay why it is printing because I need to print student one so now you can see the first is called because of the default constructor second is called through the parameterized constructor okay now uh, in so that means you can create uh, if you want to create one more constructor you can create with one parameter two parameter three so they, they are differentiated with their number of parameters and their type as well. Now there is also a shortcut way to write the constructor. What you can do C T O R. Okay, you can see this. Now press tab key two times. So you see this constructor is automatically that uh, public student now you can write your own definition so that is the short way to write the constructor now when a object is created then constructor is called when object is destroyed then destructor is called so there is a there is a destructor So there is a destructor. So the job of destructor is to destroy the object. So what is destructor? Destructor is to destroy the object. So if there is no destructor, 
then implicit destructor sorry for the spellings is called okay to destroy the object now what how do you identify there is a destructor defined or not it's same name as the class name as constructor is having but it is prefixed by it is prefixed by tilde this we call tild tilde symbol okay so it has the same name as the class name and it is prefixed with the tilde symbol and one more thing that no return type it does not have the return type and <clears throat> destruct and there is no parametrized destructor like in constructor we were having a parametrized constructor where we can pass the parameter but in destructor we cannot do that and so no overloading is possible in destructor so these are some features of the destructor so let us create a destructor so to create a destructor we use tilde symbol and same name as the class name student okay and so let me call it uh, one line I will write so I'm saying destructor is called something I'm writing okay and there is no no need to call explicitly destructor into your when you're calling your method so let me run it so you see Two times it is saying destructor is called so why it is saying two times the reason is that I have created two object so there are two objects it means these two objects will be destroyed when my program ends so here OBJ student created it it is called uh, student details with the default constructor second obj student one is called which is having the 102 30 mark that details now when my main method is ended at that time these objects are destroyed since they are no longer valid so when the objects are destroyed or when my program ends these objects are destroyed at that time my destructor is called so my first destructor is called for obj student and there I have written the statement in my destructor that destructor is called so that is why first one is called for obj student and I have one more object two objects for obj student one for that again the destructor is called by saying that so actually 
this statement does not make any sense i'm just saying that destructor is called destructor is called but internally what is happening it is destroying the object it is clearing it from the memory that is the main purpose of the destructor okay so just related to this we will talk the function overloading function overloading and also we call it static polymorphism as const constructor has more than one definition and they are differentiated on the basis of their parameters same way functions so this is my function so i can have the multiple function with the same name but their parameters should be different so say an example i want to create one more method public void same name as this so this is possible okay now here i just want to pass the age and name int age comma string name and i'm saying age equals to age and name equals to name and admission number i just want to put some hard code value say 103 now i'll create an object of the uh, student class okay i don't have the constructor so it will create the default constructor now i say obj student dot student input so when i when i use this bracket it is saying one of two means i have two definitions so one is where i can pass in age admission number and name and second one is i can pass only name and age so let me pass and let me use this one age so i say 25 and name say rama okay so i'm calling this method now i'm saying obj student dot student details where it is printing name age and admission number so if i run it So it is saying name is Raman, age is 25 and admission number is 103 because that I have hard coded here. So mean to say this method is called, not this method. So both are having the same name but they have the different parameters. So this concept is called function overloading or static polymorphism so now if i if i pass the value admission number so if i say 104 comma and if i run it now it is using the other method now it is not using this method it is using this method because now i'm passing the admission number so that is the that that is same way as we were doing the constructor 
so when we do uh, this kind of stuff where we are passing the multi we have the same name but different parameter in constructor point of view then we call it constructor overloading and when we talk about the function then we call it function overloading 